hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is shiko and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back so i'm starting off by applying my color pop sticks foundation and blending it all over my face using my flat foundation brush and i'm blending it all over to give me that seamless finish and since it's a stick foundation it really doesn't dry out much it gives me a glow and i love it next i'm taking my colourpop concealer it's the no filter concealer in the shade dark 42 and i'm applying that under my eyes on my nose forehead and my the top of my lips and i'm blending it using the same brush that i used for foundation i mostly use a beauty blender to blend my concealer but i was doing this video in such a hurry so i just picked the brush that i used for foundation And this concealer is also like totally full coverage it blends so easily and it's my favorite concealer I think you can find them locally at beauty bar Jamia mall but I, I had mine shipped from their site I'm also applying the concealer on my eyes I'm not going to be doing an eyeshadow look for this video but the concealer is just going to even out my eyelids so I won't have dark eyes and I'm using a fluffy brush to blend it So I'm now contouring my nose and I'm using the shade Transition from the Joanna K Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. It's a dark brown and after applying I'm using my blending brush, eyeshadow blending brush to blend out the color so that I won't have harsh edges. Yeah, so I'm using the same color to also do my contour for the cheeks and you know the forehead every place that I need to contour I love contouring using powders rather than concealers and foundations because I find contouring with powder is way much easier and it's so easy to blend out powders yeah I lost the footage where I was applying the other highlighting powder I didn't have the baking powder so I just used my illegal warm caramel for the rest of my face and so I won't be showing that because I can't find that part of the video as you can see here I've already applied that powder I just didn't show it here on camera so now I'm going on to my eyebrows and I have this new um, routine for doing my eyebrows I just basically brush them upwards as, as you've seen and then I go directly to defining them using concealer before filling with eyebrow pencil and I've realized that this gives me a very very natural eyebrow so I'm now taking my Davis number no. 3 eyebrow pencil and I am using it now to fill and I am using very very gentle strokes upwards mimicking my natural hairs how they grow and here at the edge i'm forming the arc my eye, eyebrow arc and using now um not very um thick strokes i'm just you know lightly doing the filling and you can see it, it doesn't look that um 
thick it's it's natural it has a natural effect and then i'm just blending off the excess concealer yeah so here my niece switched off my light <laughs> so i was just reacting to that and then now you brush them with a spoolie and yeah you have a we have popping natural eyebrows so we're going to blush now and i used my elf blush palette as usual and i am blending that on my cheeks and i'm going to do the same for the other side so i love blush because it brings back color to my face you know after you've done the foundation and the powder and you're looking kind of pale blush brings back radiance and color and you know you look like somebody not just a canvas <laughs> so i'm going to the shade glow getter of the joanna k cosmetics palette and this is my favorite color in the palette and i, I use it as my highlight it is so pigmented you can see so i can't just apply and then leave it at that i just have to blush to brush it oh my god i have to brush it yeah so that it can blend in yeah and then go back yeah basically just applying blending till it gives me the effect that i need i just need a subtle glow not having like a silver line on my cheeks so that's why I love blending it then I'm going to use a fluffy brush to apply the highlight on the top of my lips my nose my chin my forehead yeah and we are glowing I'm also using it to highlight my brow bone. So taking my MAC Prep and Prime to spray my face. So for lipstick, this is the main part of this video. I am first lining my lips using the Huda Cosmetics, the Kenyan one, um, the Kenyan Huda lipstick in the shade Vamp to line my lips. Next, taking my Colourpop No Filter Concealer, the one that I used to highlight my face, I'm applying that also on my lips. Doing ombre lips, you just have to blend, blend and blend till you know we have no harsh lines. So I'm first using my finger to blend the two and as you can see, the, 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 the concealer dried matte so it is, it's blending really well and then I'm taking a lip brush to mix the bump the maroon and the concealer making sure I have no harsh edges and you can see I have a very very beautiful ombre effect yeah so that's it thank you so much for watching see you on the next one